So what is cryptocurrency? In this video, I hope to teach you the basics. So when anybody ever asks you that, you know how to answer it. Life of PJ. <laughs> so firstly, what is cryptocurrency? So cryptocurrency was actually invented in, well, invented in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto. And why cryptocurrency? Now, crypto stands for cryptography, which is essentially the encryption and decryption of information. Pretty straightforward, eh? So is cryptocurrency actually a currency? Interesting question. In itself, it's not actually considered a currency, um, as well as it's still being confused over other asset classes. Is it a commodity? Is it a security? So actually, it's its own unique asset type. And effectively, what it is, is a virtual digital currency. There we go again. Let's just call it a currency for now. A virtual digital currency um, that works on blockchain technology. Wait a minute, blockchain. Now I'm throwing more information at you. So I'll give you again a basic overview of that just so you get to grips with how that actually works. So blockchain, just imagine a load of blocks, okay? And it's effectively a digital ledger. So that digital ledger records the volumes of transactions from who made the transaction to whom, so the recipient. And like I said, the volume of what was actually traded. And if you wanna know what things can be traded, it can include cryptocurrency as well as other things, which I'll go into in another video. Then that information in those blocks is replicated across other nodes. So other points of interest across the network, which just verify that tra that transaction is correct um, and isn't being hacked by somebody and amended so the data isn't being corrupted or changed in any way. Hence its popularity because it's so secure. Once the validation process has been completed, it's then verified and you proceed with the transaction. Easy. So how is it different to PayPal or Cash App? Something like that, which is a great question. So cryptocurrency in itself, the reason it's so popular is it's, it's actually decentralized. So it's not regulated by a central bank like the Bank of England or the Federal Reserve. And it's not affected by third party stakeholders, influencers, whatever you want to call them. So central governments. So how do I set it up, you ask? Another great question. So you actually create digital wallets. What I'll do is I'll just list a few of these in the description box below and chuck a few of the logos up around my face. And then what I'll do is in other videos, I'll talk about these individually, review them and take you step by step through how they work. So you're never in the dark about it. Okay, so let's say for example, you've got some Bitcoin or another type of cryptocurrency. How do you use it? So PayPal has started to adopt it, as well as some other banks starting to decide how best to use it. I remember when I was in Switzerland, some banks had started to actually incorporate Bitcoin accounts. So it's starting to become more common every day, and especially when you've got the likes of Bill Gates or Elon Musk, very vocal supporters of cryptocurrency. It's gonna become quite common. As a matter of fact, in 2018, Malta, was nicknamed Blockchain Island, just because of its fantastic incentives for companies to come over there to develop their blockchain technology and all the other incentives as well. And a few other countries have started to follow suit. Yes, China deemed it illegal in September last year, 2021. But what are you gonna do? Okay, so that pretty much sums up the basics of cryptocurrency. You've got your good, which can consist of additional layers of security, fantastic returns if you are looking at it from an investment perspective, and also revolutionising the way we do business, our lives in general. But you've also got the ugly. Can be a little tough to understand initially, hence why I wanted to make these videos, because once you've grasped the concept, it's actually not that hard. And also you can lose a lot investing as well. Bit of a horror story, I remember one evening I lost probably about £3,000, or what's that, almost $4,000 in one trade. We are talking over a decade ago, so I've learned a little since then, but it is very volatile. Okay, so that is Cryptocurrency, a beginner's guide. Hopefully you've learned from it. If you have, please go over and give a like. I will be doing a lot more of these videos, as well as delving deeper into the individual coins themselves, looking at NFTs, I'm not even gonna start on that one. That's for another video. Uh, and also look at which investment platforms will be best for you in 2022 and the future.
I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. I was going to write a theme tune, but I can't sing a theme tune. Ha <laughs> ha.